Hey everybody, I'm Olivia. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am trying to post more on here because I've been getting a lot of requests for photo tutorials um, on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's a life to live. So I recently went to Paris, as you can see, and I posted this photo on Instagram and I got a lot of requests for editing and this was just a pretty popular photo on my Instagram. So I picked this photo to edit for you guys today. All right, let's get started. As you see, I am using Lightroom and you do have to give a, have a subscription to use Lightroom. I think you can try it like a little trial or something like that, but it is well worth the money even if you like do decide to get it because there's just so much you can do with Lightroom. All right, so I got my unedited image right here. As you can see, it's rather dark, um, pretty much black. Probably don't wanna post it anywhere because nobody can see anything. Um, that's where this handy little light toolbar comes in. Um, I will definitely be upping the exposure quite a bit. Um, probably like in the twos. Yes. And then I'll go down my highlights and I will kind of go down a little bit on my highlights, but I will go down quite a bit on my whites. That's so I can add in a little bit more color. Um, cause you see like if I went up, it just, it's no, no, we're just going to do this. All right. And then I do up my shadows a bit just to make it, you know, pretty bright. But when I up my shadows, I do want to decrease my blacks. That's so, um, and it keeps things very defined in my eyes. And then my favorite thing ever is clarity. When you go up on clarity, yeah, it's like crazy. So you probably don't want to do that, but um, I still like to go a decent amount on my clarity. I love clarity. It really crisps up the entire photo. Um, even adding clarity just like with nothing else kind of just makes a lot of a huge difference to me. All right, the next thing is where the magic happens, and that's coloring. Coloring is just awesome. You can do so much. Like, look at all this. So you can change. The, this is where, you know, you see a lot of photographers change their blues to, like, teals or their yellows to oranges. This is, you know, where it happens. Um, so you got your hue over here. So, like, your blue, if you want to make it more teal or more, like, purple, you got that. Um, over here, saturation. That's, you know, whether you want to make it really colorful or, you know, pretty, just take away the color. And then luminance is just your how bright you want that photo set, that color. So if you want it really bright, or which pretty much turns to white, so probably don't do that. Or really dark, but that looks bad too, so don't do that. So with this photo, um, I'm going to start out with upping my reds a little bit because I don't want the reds to be too like pinky red. I want them to be more orangey. So we'll do that. And then my orange, I'm just going to up to the yellows just by 15-ish. <clears throat> yellows, I'm going to make into, I see, I just, either yellows, I'll go with orange or I'll go with green, just depending on what it's doing to my photo. Um, here, I, I'm like, it's changing the greens quite a bit. So that's what I'm wanting to do. I wanted to make the greens more of like a a green green, not so much of a yellowy green. And that's a little too, too much right there. So, And then my green, we are going to probably go right up with that. So if you can see my grass like over there when I like switch my toolbar. I like that kind of green, not the yellowy green. Um, so aqua, I don't really need to do anything with aqua because my blue is pretty much the main blue. So look, when I adjust aqua, there's not much going on. So I'll pretty much do my main blue changes here, which I will go down to make a little bit teal, you know? And then pinks and purples, I don't really need because there's not really much of that in the photo. Won't really make a difference. <clears throat> Saturation, I'm gonna keep red zero. I will with orange, orange is skin skin tones and yellow sometimes too. That 
can be tricky. So when you obviously don't want to make yourself like look orange, orange, like a Oompa Loompa. So I will always kind of decrease my saturation on orange a little bit just because I don't want to get Oompa Loompa y. And then for yellow, I'm just going to keep yellow like that. Green, I will go down just, just a tad. Um, aqua, um, I'm going to fade it out a little bit. Blue, just a hair. <clears throat> and then purples, I'm going to go up a little bit. there is any purples in there anymore and then actually we're gonna just keep that all right luminance um that's you see how this is really changing my um, eiffel tower i'm going to keep that down a little bit just so you can see more of the structure of the eiffel tower orange i do want to like still make it bright so I will probably keep it up there yellows there we go I don't like yellows that much so I don't want to I want the green to kind of show more aqua I'm gonna make it blue we're gonna go down a little bit and we don't really need those. Um, so on a lot of my photos, I don't typically use the split toning. Um, I used to actually use it a lot, but I don't really use it that much. Um, it is fun to use because you can definitely like really do some cool things with it. But I, so that's why I'm going to use it today. Um, I'm going to kind of make the coloring a little more dull in this photo. And. Yeah, so but so that's what I, with my highlights I'm turning a more a yellowy and then for my shadows I'm going to make them more of like a purple okay so I'm gonna show you a before and after real quick just of these coloring settings and then I'm gonna get into the other little things that I do so here's a before and here's after already a huge difference um, the next thing I'm going to do once I'm done with like all of these in this panel I kind of make my own filters like over top of my photos or I kind of paint in color if I need it so I am going to start out with kind of just adding a filter over top of my entire photo and then I'm going to actually bring the exposure down on that. And then I'm going to bring the temperature to make it a little bit more warm. I know that's kind of like muddy looking, but I'm also going to bring up, add some pinks in there. And then I'm going to go down here to color. And this is how I got that purplish look on my photo. So I got this purple purplish. I can then adjust this a little bit more. I did bring my yellows up a little bit more. So that's how I got that purple look. So if you you know go up, it's really blue. It look, kind of looks like I'm bringing back in more color. It adds definitely works well with my um, with adding more oranges into my skin tone, which. I do, we're gonna bring that down, paint in a little bit of color or lightness. So let's say my skin was pretty dark. So that's obviously understandable since it is night. So here I'm just going to go over my skin and then I will increase exposure just a tad. I'll mostly be adding in some warmth. So the temperature adds some warmth, but I do like my skin to be still a little fugitive. 
I do usually zoom in so I can really refine all this, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to do this somewhat quickly. I definitely recommend zooming in and just getting like the outline. So, I mean, you can go over here to eraser and erase the edges if you go over. So, no biggie. And then I also will go up to here, the square, which is what I just did for the other kind of filter that I did over my whole photo. And I like to make this less blue, I mean, less purple, and a tad bit brighter. Another thing I did was I lightened up this area because I wanted to show more um, lights, which is kind of like, which you do have to go over. If it goes like that, you got to invert your mask. And then I did brighten up that. It was a little too bright, but brighten up that. I kind of made it a little bit more warm, but be like a pinky one. From there, I can just do some final adjustments. Um, if you know, I want to add in more my highlights, just brighten things up. Okay, so here we got the before and the after. Such a huge difference. I actually feel like I'm going to increase the vibrance on it. There we go. Such a huge difference, and I really hope that this tutorial will help you guys editing your photos. Let's say you don't really want to use Visco Cam anymore or something like that. Lightroom is amazing. You guys will love it. Um, this is my first tutorial, so I'm really sorry if you think it's bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's a life to live. You can always DM me, ask me questions about editing, or just stop by and say hi. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing more, and have a wonderful day.